Division Tournament when the four and the five seeds get together. In Division A, Region 4, the host team Kildare is playing Hazen. This is the 4-5 matchup. Beulah earned a first round bye. Kildare takes a 41-37 lead in the fourth quarter when Owen Schleppenbach takes the pass from the left baseline and scores it. And then Hazen's Riley Walters would connect. This is on a long two-pointer that keeps the Bison close in this game. But the Cowboys, they find a little space along the baseline once again. It's Jackson Reese driving toward the basket, getting that floater to go and adding two more to the score. Kildare then capitalizes on a steal. Reese quickly up court to Cooper Bang, who finishes the layup. And then the Cowboys Schleppenbach would get open once again on the baseline as Kildare wins it by the final of 59 to 45. Alan Reed got us the second game as well. That's Shiloh Christian and Watford City. This is Watford's Derek Schoen fighting his way uh, through a couple of defenders here to get the uh, shot to go in high off the glass. But Shiloh Christian's James Melberg puts this uh, up his second three-pointer in a row as the Skyhawks offense is starting to warm up. Then it's the Skyhawks again. Caden Eglin over to uh, Tristan Grease. They had a 30-1 to one run at one stretch in this game. Here's Melberg again adding a couple more as Shiloh Christian wins it 67 to 40 was the final. Last game of the day in Kildare goes to Standing Rock a 55 45 win over Trinity. Well the Division B regions mirror the A the quarterfinals today semis tomorrow and the title will be determined on Thursday. But remember what's different in a three cast class setup now is that the state qualifiers are on Saturday. That's where the second and third place teams play the twos and threes from another region with the winner advancing to state. Let's go to region three. It's at St. Mary's. The district six champ is Garrison against Hedegar Scranton. This was a good one. The Nighthawks get off to a hot start. Malachi Dills comes up uh, for that back cut there hitting the three. It's a six point lead. Garrison would find its footing offensively eventually. Avery Klein goes to work in the post. Gets the basket also fouled on that play. This one would stay close throughout fourth quarter now decisive three pointer here from Caden Anderson. This ties the score at 58 all. Well, they needed more time, so they headed to overtime and the Nighthawks use some size here. It's Blake Larson putting it up in the uh, second overtime. Well, that was needed as well, but from there it was the Braxton Idlehart show. Each of the troopers 11 points in the double OT belong to him as Garrison wins it 71 62 in double overtime. Well, New England made big noise by beating Glenall and Hebron last week. Tonight, the Tigers take on Washburn. And it's the Tigers looking to step out in front, pulling uh, that jumper there as Talon Vinstock as New England started to get going, a six-point lead. But the Cardinals uh, looking and finding some offense over to Ethan Redarath as he hits the triple. This halves Washburn's deficit. But then in the second quarter, Washburn would continue to build on its lead. A hard drive here by Alex Redarath. He gets the layup to go as the Cardinals win it 59 to 52 was the final score. Elsewhere in Region 3 earlier today, Bowman County rated third in the state wins easily. Seventh rated Wilton Wing needed a Hudson Wolf buzzer beater to take care of Flasher. Region 1 going on in Jamestown. EKM tonight rated fifth in the state wins by 10. Tenth rated Linton HMB drops its game to Sargent County. And Hankinson rated six loses to the Lobos while Allendale takes care of Barnes County North. Well, the UMary women's basketball team can play for the conference title, but the Rutters have to get past the Duluth Bulldogs first. Semifinals at the Pentagon in Sioux Falls. Second quarter, UMary out to Mariah McKeever. She hits the long three-pointer. She had 21 points. The Rutters had a five-point lead at the break. We jump to the fourth. Three-point game. Watch this sequence. This from Megan Zander. A block on Duluth's top player. Megan in transition. Hits the long three-pointer. She had 20 points. That was probably the dagger in the game, but then this next one is the exclamation point. The player of the year, Lexi Schneider, 31 points, 11 boards, 3 assists. The final, 83-75. You marry wins. The big three had 74.